SKSE or Script Extender is required for many elaborate Skyrim mods. It can be confusing to install if you've never done it before, so let me show you step by step what you need to do. First, you'll need to download SKSE from the official website, skse.silverlock.org, or you can just search for SKSE on Google. Now, there's a few different versions of Skyrim out, and it's not always obviously clear which you have. If you have Skyrim Special Edition or Skyrim Anniversary Edition, and your game is fully up to date through Steam, you'll want to download the current Anniversary Edition build. If you are preventing Skyrim from updating through Steam, then you'll need to check which version you have. You can do this by going into Steam, locating Skyrim, right-clicking, going to properties, manage, and then browse local files. This will pull up your game install directory. In the folder, locate the file name Skyrim SE. Single left click on it to select the file and then right click on it and go to properties. Go to the details section and then look down at this number here. This is your Skyrim version number. With this information, we can go back to the SKSE website and download the corresponding version of the Skyrim script extender. You can also see the older versions of SKSE by clicking this archive link. My version of Skyrim is a little bit older, but I'm just gonna go ahead and download the latest version for demonstration purposes. Save the file wherever you'd like. I'm gonna put mine in Downloads. Now to full extract this file, we'll need a tool like 7-Zip or WinRAR. WinRAR is super spammy and always wants you to buy it, or at least it used to. Anyways, I use 7-Zip, which you can get from 7-Zip.org. You'll install this program by clicking on the 64-bit version and then running the executable file that downloads. You'll get some prompts to install, but you can leave all the default options selected and just keep pressing Next. Now we can go back to our SKSE download and right click on the 7-zip file. If you're on Windows 11, you'll need to press show more options, but then you'll see the menu item called 7-zip. Hover over 7-zip and press the option to extract files. On the new menu that appears, press extract. Now you have this new uncompressed folder with SKSE in it. Copy all the files in this folder and then paste them into your Skyrim game directory, which as I mentioned before, can be found through Steam. You'll need to launch Skyrim with the script extender executable in order for the mods requiring it to work properly. You can make a shortcut of SKSE by using the send to desktop option or by adding this executable to Steam. If you get stuck or need any help, leave a comment down below and I'll respond to each and every one of you, and even probably like years from now. Oh, and if this video actually helped you, then please press like so that others know it's a good tutorial. 